and welcome to today's episode of Drab to Fab. <laughs> okay, seriously, no. Wow. Oof. Hi, my angels. Today is the day that I finally show you how to do my hair with the curls that you always ask. Stay tuned. Right now I'm gonna take you to my bathroom and show you how to get this look. And also I'm literally doing a wall sit, trying to sit here right now, and it's so painful. All right, if you want your hair to look like this, keep watching. All right team, here's the real deal video. How I curl my hair. Soon to be followed by how I put it in a ponytail. Look out for the next video. Anyway, okay, here's the deal. My hair is two to two and a half days dirty right now. Um, I find that the curl holds best with at least one day dirty when it's like brand spanking new. Like if I go to the blow dry place and I have them wash it and then immediately curl it, it falls out, which I don't like. I'm like, I just spent a lot of money. So the trick is have some dirty hair. Mine is a little grit to it. Like it's, uh, it's really just looks like dead Barbie hair sometimes. So yeah, this is my before. When I shower, which was about two days ago, I put Moroccan oil in it. I'll link Moroccan oil, I'll link all the products to help you out get this perfect blow. Why? Well, I don't even know. All my life, I did not know how to curl my hair, and then finally I went to Seattle, and my friend Zoe showed me how. You flip the thing, I'm gonna flip the wand, I'm gonna show you here in a second. And it changed my curling hair life, it saved me so much money, I don't need to get any of my friends to curl my hair anymore, or go to Dry Bar and pay $25. So anyway, here we start. All right, so first thing I do, put my hair up, half up, half down. Wrap it like a bun, you know what I'm saying? Just getting this top hair out of the way is really important. So I can work on the bottom parts, which used to be my least favorite piece. Like doing the bottom was always my least favorite, but then, I don't know, I just got better at it. It's like became not as horrible. Wait, oh, oh, I just literally unhooked the top of this tripod thing. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, ooh, maybe, okay. Step two, get a brush, fill it with lots of hair. Just kidding. This is also dry bar. I will link it, love dry bar. Okay, wow. Oh yeah. Also, I lit some candles in the background and like my little flower, just so you feel at home. Also, I'm totally gonna start sweating and I'm gonna have to take this hoodie off at some point. Also, take your earrings out. Ain't nobody needs those. This is a Rusk curling iron. It has a clamp, but I'm not gonna use the clamp. This is when my life changed. Don't use the clamp for what you're, what I'm about to show you. Pull this down, it's very hot. I have it on the hottest setting. I'm already sweating, hold up. Pull your hair to the sides, got it? Then I start, so I've, I've got half up, half down, pull it left and right. Then I'm gonna grab a piece. I like to grab it where it naturally sort of divides itself, if that makes sense. I'm gonna grab a piece about this big. Grab my thing. Okay, hold on, I don't wanna burn down the house. Hold up, shoot. I cannot have these candles. This is actually so dangerous, I'm crazy. Anyway, pull it down just like this. Bang, boom, wrap it around. Leave a little bit at the ends, okay? A little bit like that. I don't go super strict about like how much end I leave. Some people are like, leave two inches, but I don't know, I typically wrap it like all the way, which I will tell you, I'm sure I will burn my finger, at least one fingertip in this video, okay? So hold, hold, hold. My hair is quite thick and I like to get the curl to last quite a while, so I hold it in for a second. I'm also not a beauty guru, so you know, if you're like, you're killing your hair, I know, probably am. Okay, look, curl number one, looking cute. <laughs> Essentially, you're gonna grab little chunks of hair about yay thick, and if you want like a super intense curly curly, you can do smaller chunks or you can do bigger chunks. I like to just keep it around here. The good news that I've learned is not as much when I finish my own hair, probably because I'm not doing as good of a job. But when I walk at a dry bar, I typically look exactly like Shirley Temple, like crazy. But the nice thing is like you pull it out with your fingers and I can show you how to do that in this video, how you run your fingers through it to kind of loosen the curl and it looks really pretty and it will be pretty for the next couple days. Okay, so anyway. Done with this one. And also, not every single curl has to look perfect the whole way through. But it's very important to always curl away from your face on both sides. So, watch this. Put this, flip this over. Wrapping away from my face, okay? Otherwise, you'll see the curls are gonna look pretty funky. Cause like one side of your face is gonna flip out and the other side is gonna flip towards your face. I'm sure you've already heard all this, but I ain't doing anything no one else already showed you. But I'm just gonna show you what I do. Also, for some reason, now I have to like semi-squat when I'm doing this. Also, what's funny is like, it really does transform my hair when I curl it because my highlights look so hideous right now. My hair is like yellow tinted with really dark roots coming in. But when I curl it, it just looks pretty. Like, oh frick, bro. <laughs> what's so cool about this hair technique is that literally my friend Zoe showed me once and then I go, I can perfectly curl my hair out. Okay. But that being said, I'm not perfect. So I still burn my fingers and I still gotta look in the mirror. 
wrapping a new piece. If this gets boring, I'll fast forward a little bit, but so far I just wanna like talk you through the beginning steps. So we gotta just do all this bottom part. My hand's cramping for some reason. Cause I'm probably tense, you know? Ooh, sweating like a bull. Do bulls sweat? Who knows? And sometimes I have just like smaller pieces left and I just curl them. Don't leave like a straight piece, you know what I'm saying? Probably doesn't look as good if you leave some random straight pieces. That used to be the look though in like Disney Channel, like Hannah Montana beginning, like they would just curl like the outer pieces, the rest would be straight. Did this, it doesn't look that crazy good yet. The bottom like, it, it'll transform, don't worry. We're going by layers, okay. This half done, let's finish this side. Oh, and this is the tricky side. This is the side I could never do. So, let me show you. Grab this piece, same thickness, right, okay? Grab this piece, put it down. You gotta angle it down, that's the key. The flip is the key. Then wrap away from your face. Wrap, 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 yes. Now hold. Dum, 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 dum. Sometimes the cord gets in my face, I just use my elbow push it back, okay, see it? Just hold, 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 hold. For some reason I've never felt like I was gonna burn my ear, but today I did, probably because I'm looking in the mirror. See, it's getting cute, it's getting cute. And look, see this is an example of where I can pull it out. I can pull them apart and they still look great. I have deceivingly, very deceivingly thick hair. <sighs> really thick hair, which is why I get away with not showering it for a long time. But lately I've been using new coconut conditioner and it's so hydrating that I'm not able to get away with me not freaking washing it every nine days or something. I have to do it every like two to three days. So what I'll probably do right now, I'm gonna show you a couple more pieces. So look, down. Away. I just turned the freaking curling iron off, didn't I? Yeah, I freaking did. Down, away, Boom. hold. This is the same move I'm gonna do literally my whole head. Even the front pieces, all that stuff, but I'll show you all the front pieces. I'm gonna show you layer by layer, but maybe I'll fast forward this part because you don't need to see. This is the same motion the whole time. It's a little boring because I have so much hair. We doing it, we doing it, we doing it well. Now I'm pulling these bottom pieces out. The, the ones at the bottom back of my head are the hardest to reach, but they still seem to work out okay. So you don't have to feel like you have to do it perfect. Ow, frick, I burnt my finger. That was it right there. You don't have to feel like I have to get every piece perfectly. Just make sure you're wrapping it out and that's it. You're not clamping. Remember not to clamp. Whenever I would clamp, this is where I would, it would ruin it. Like it would look, the curl would look terrible when I would clamp it. It would pinch the hair and put the end of it in this like weird angle. It never looked good. Shout out to Zoe for sponsoring this video because she taught me how to do this. I hope I get like a good beauty, beauty makeover song. Like a montage in like the movies, the best part. When like they get the makeover, you know? Like Hilary Duff, Lizzie McGuire movie, when she gets the makeover. The best scene in the world. That was always my favorite parts of movies. Oh yeah, it's coming together. I am not a fraud, I swear. This is working. Two more things on the bottom, then we're gonna be done with this layer. I would suggest dirty hair. Not so dirty that you look, you're like, I wanna scratch my head off because my head gets really itchy when it's like 10 days old. But I'm telling you, like at least shower your hair and sleep, go to sleep. I think that works the best. Because if it's too fine and silky, it doesn't hold as well. One more piece down here. And then we go shake. Last piece. My neck is cracked for trying to talk to you guys, but I do it for you. What I do for love. Okay. See, it's starting to come together. So here's the deal. Product that I use. How do people do this? Money Maker Flexible Hold Hairspray by Dry Bar, which is where I used to go to get my blow-offs. Freaking go in. Don't get it in your mouth. Mm. I don't even know if I need hairspray, but, I, <coughs> but I'm gonna put it on. Here we go, we did the first layer. I need another scrunchie. So I'm gonna put this back, curled, done. Okay, pull out the top half of my head. Now here's the deal. If you don't have as thick of hair as me, you can probably get away with doing the bottom half and then the top half, but I have really thick hair, so I like to take the top little layer and do another little bun. So I do like bottomest, bottom half of my head, then another like third of it, and then I'll do the last third at the end. So we've got this kind of situation. Back, middle, top. So now you see I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna obviously brush out this hair. 
right here. Okay, and this is a good moment. I'll show you another product that I love. Two products, both Trybar also. This is where your hair is gonna start smelling so good. First things first, detox dry shampoo. So I told you, my head is a little bit greasy right now. Take a little bit of this because it's the inner part that I don't really see. Spray a little bit. It will help me get it in the roots. One, it smells amazing. Two, so it's less greasy. You know what I'm saying? Dry shampoo for the win. I'm gonna link this too. Third, triple sec, three in one from Dry Bar. Texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. This is what smells so good on my head all the time. I freaking, one, I think it actually helps like texturize your hair and keep the curl. Just smells, mm. Yep, so good. When people come in and hug me, they're always like, you smell so good, and I'm like, it's this. It's always this. I will link this, you should buy this, 100%. So we're gonna do left side, right side. I'm like a pro right now. Okay, here we go. Ooh, itchy head, itchy head. Ooh, dirty. The back pieces are always the hardest, so let's just do it. And if you're wondering like how to section in the back, like if you pull it to the right or the left, it doesn't really matter. Just do where it kind of naturally wants to fall, but also know that it's the back, and it's as long as you curl it like I just did, you're gonna be fine. It'll fall how it needs to fall. Yeah. Let's see how this one goes. Oh yeah, we're getting curls, mama. But once you've done the bottom half, it just gets easier because there's way less hair. One thing I do when I like section off the hair, I really like to keep it like in its natural clumping as I'm grabbing. You can kind of tell, like if I'm pulling hairs and like one feels like it's some of this chunk feels like it's coming from like a bottom layer. I don't like to mix it, I don't know why. Like see how I kind of grab this and then there's hair underneath it. So I'm gonna pull it over and then take a section like to get like that's more together. And it gets harder around the hairline for sure. All right, this is how I do it, for reals. And you can all do it because I truly could do this, what looked perfect to me, the second time I did it. So this is not hard, it's just in the flipping motion. See how my hand is like that? That is the secret sauce. Remember, flip. Bounce with it, pop with it, lean with it, rock with it, snap with it. I'm all fell up, yeah, with it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Just a couple more pieces on this side. <sighs> All right, section two, donezo. Let's give her a little spray. I have no idea how much hash you're supposed to use. Anyway, okay. Pulling this out, look, we're getting there, we're getting there. Now we just have the top layer. So take the bottom layers again, wrap it like this in a little ponytail. And this one's like kind of like a silkyish one or like it's a really soft cloth and it's not a really gripping scrunchie so it's not gonna like totally crimp it. But even if I use a tight scrunchie, it's still fine. Okay, hold on. I did not plan this, I literally just turned. I pulled this out and this is how my hair falls. We're, we're done. Okay, see you later, ladies. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we go. Brush that out. Right side, left side. Part to your own desire. So you can really see that I have freaking dirty head. So I wanna do a little dry shampoo in the crevice. Mm -mm. <clears throat> it smells good too. A little bit of texture spray. The sprays are 100% not necessary. I just love how this smells, so I put a lot in it. And I have greasy head. And the hairspray, I mean like, I want it to hold, right? But I think it would hold knowing my hair, even without. But if your hair won't hold, use hairspray. Toplayer.com, here we go. Same thing for the top layer. Do this and wrap. Bang, boom. 
What's cool about these curls is like, even if they come out really tight, or even if they come out perfectly, then don't touch it. But if it doesn't, you're like, oh, this feels too tight, or like, like too done, and you want it more relaxed but pretty, you can comb your hands through it. I'm gonna show you how. Or you can actually brush over it. You can always go from tighter to more relaxed. And you can do super tight if you actually, if you have an even skinnier barrel on your curling iron. Mine's like an inch to, I think like an, an inch thick. Yeah, that looks weird. Wow, this is a really good look for me. Here we go. All right, hello, side bangs. How to fake side bangs, the new show. If I'm doing an updo, like a, a ponytail, which I often do, and I'm gonna pull out the front pieces, I often just curl the front pieces. All right, this is how we're looking on this side so far. Yes, it's tight, don't worry. Okay, last side, oh! Hello, my name is Donkers. Why do I like handles? I can't even have them in this video. Ambiance, ambiance. Ooh, that's a good curl right there. Beautiful. I'm still doing the step bet thing where I have to do a certain number of steps every day. So I have my phone literally in my biker shorts because it didn't attach to my Fitbit and I'm really angry about it. So I'll walk like 14,000 steps in my phone. I don't have my phone every second of my day. It thinks I've only done like 6,000. So I don't always hit the goals. And yesterday I didn't hit the goal. It was the first day. So now I have to wear it in my underwear at all times. I can't tell you how many times. Ow! We're down to the last like one and a half pieces. I'm still grabbing chunks the exact same size as I was before. We're getting close, we're getting close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, oh, oh. I'm gonna grab the front piece and then I'm gonna show you. Grabbing it, tucking it, wrapping it. Now once I wrap and then I kind of tilt the thing, see how I tilted it like that? To me, when I tilt it in, like towards my forehead, like going from straight to in on that front piece, freaking my finger! This is a hazard, but it just falls nicer. It doesn't look nice right now, but once I pull it out, it just has that little, it goes in and I like it. You don't have to do that. That hurt. So we've successfully done Bo Peep. So if you want to be Bo Peep, stop here. Turn it off. You've been Bo Peep for Christmas. I mean, you know, whatever it's called, Halloween. Then we pull out the bottom. I won't shake, don't worry. I'm just trying to get it out here. This is what it looks like currently. So we did all three layers. The curls are pretty. I'll do a little 360. I have no idea what the back looks like. Hoping it looks good. Yep, see, cute. Very Rapunzel, I mean, you can stop here, but I'm definitely, like at least the front bits, I definitely wanna pull out. So you just pull out, go in, and then kind of just rub it. your fingers through. You can do that through the whole, your whole head. I'm gonna do it like, like this. And if you really wanna pull the curls out, brush it, but try with your fingers first so you can see it kind of evolve. And don't worry, if there's pieces I'm not obsessed with, I'm gonna recurl them. Yeah, like this front piece is kind of funky to me for some reason, so I'm gonna redo this one. Just burnt my finger again. Like I, I basically just never talk to me on that one finger ever again, it hurts. Yeah, now that falls a little nicer, I think, like a little more relaxed. Also, these are gonna like relax more as the day goes on, which is fun. Redoing this one too. See, I go from more like that to that. That's what I like. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm a fan of it. Like it looks pretty good, right? And then spray to your heart's content. Honestly, I just like the triple sack. It just freaking smells so good. Whip your hair as many times as you need, honey. Let's go walk into another light so we can just like see how this looks better. All right, team, I added earrings and I came into my hallway feeling 
very cute about this. This is it. See it? She did it. Oh, exactly how I do my hair for all occasions. Very cute. Okay, next video, I'm gonna show you how to take this hair and do the Margie ponytail that you keep asking me about, because I love you. That's my next video. I love you so much. I hope you liked this one, and I hope you learned how to curl your hair, because it's life changing. That means changing. Okay, I love you. Let me know how yours turned out. Take pictures. I love you. And tune into the next video to show me how I take this to the ponytail. I love you, bye. I can't believe I did it right for the video. Oh, frick. Out. 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 Freaking my finger. Just burnt my finger again.